Hello, this is JP Fournier of The Movie Jerks, bringing you another 10 good things, one bad film. La 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 la, Movie Jerks. This time I take a look at 1984's crime thriller, Kill Point. Kill Point stars the producer of the film, Leo Fong, as Lieutenant James Long, an L.A. cop that goes undercover to track down the source of increasing gun violence. The film has little action, little story, little dialogue, and surprisingly feels long for an hour and 20 minute action film. So here it is, 10 good things about Kill Point. Number 10, Leo Fong plays Lieutenant James Long. There is little time wasted on characterization or character development. So we get Lieutenant James Long's character all summed up in amazing exposition. Okay, I'm going to assign uh, a man to work with Bryant. That's Lieutenant Long. What's his name? Lieutenant Long. Long? Isn't he the one that uh, his wife was raped and killed a while back? That's right. Is he going to be all right? No, he's not all right. Would you be? But I'll tell you one thing, he's going to get the job done. Number nine, Asshole Sniper. This sniper's an asshole. <laughs> Pretty good scope. <laughs> Number eight, weird death. Okay, the first shot pushes him back. The second shot appears to miss. The third shot results in a comical backwards jump. This part makes sense. What confuses me is how the hell he landed the way he did. Number 7. Leo Fong's Kick I may be jumping to conclusions here, but... I don't think Leo Fong can kick higher than his waist. Old man. Number six, Leo Fong's acting range. So, Leo Fong is a stone-faced actor. He's just following in the footsteps of such amazing stone-faced actors, such as Buster Keaton, Clint Eastwood, and of course, Sam the Eagle. But much like all these great actors, Leo Fong allows himself to let loose and shows an emotional side. Number 5. Sobering Trick I still haven't been able to figure out why this scene is in the film. The only thing I can figure out is that, well, perhaps this is how they sober up Cameron Mitchell before every shoot each day. You know, it says that Israel <laughs> was invaded. What's that noise in the corner? What is that? It was an, that's my baby, Jody. That's oh, my baby. Makes a lot he of noise. He is the best baby. I, you know, I never thought I'd have a kid before this. This kid is great. Eight people read the goddamn papers. You know, I think I'm gonna go back on a vacation. That's what I want to do. I want to just get out of here. I'm gonna take my kid Jody. I'm gonna go up to this place called she Mammoth never Lakes. Stops. Have you ever been to Mammoth Lakes? She just keeps going. Dead. You know what? I don't like Southern California anymore. You know, it's too smoggy for me. You shut up, that kid. Sometimes you think it's gonna rain. The clouds just build up and build up, and it doesn't stops. rain. It just smog. Shut up, that kid. And another thing, the mindless violence that's going on. The other night, I thought I heard a gunshot. I was sitting in my bed, and I and I was getting ready to turn the light out, and, and this gun went off. And I'll tell you, my dog, my dog was sitting there, and so <laughs> and he came on the bed, he was just shaking all over the place. You know, there's, there's something in this town that we need to touch you. I mean, if I was just to be like, walk down the street at night, I could never do that. Just walk down the street at night. You know, I was raped one time. I, 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 I didn't know who tried to be. So he looked at me, and, and, and I... Check! 
Damn it. I want to check. Number four. Leo Fong's trademark move. All famous action heroes have their own special trademark move. Whether it's Jean-Claude Van Damme's split kicks, Jackie Chan's next impossible stunt, or even Michael Ironside's ability to lose a limb or a body part. Each one of these action heroes has their own trademark that people wait for in every film. Here's Leo Fong's. Walking. Number three, strange training montage. training montage, some of you may have noticed that Leo Fong is sparring with a martial arts expert named Bill Wallace. This super cool kickboxing champion acted alongside Chuck Norris in A Force of One. Leo Fong used to spar with Bruce Lee. So what we essentially get here, even though it's a stretch, it's a sliver of Bruce Lee sparring with a sliver of Chuck Norris. It's small, but still pretty damn awesome. Number one, what you see is what you get. Nowadays, action films rely on a lot of edit cuts, 
a lot of splicing and a lot of trick photography to make the action scenes appear more real. However, most of these cuts do trick the eye and they do come off feeling artificial. If we go back to the 80s, the tools to edit are not as user friendly as they are today. Therefore, a lot of the action sequences were filmed exactly as they were acted. To make them convincing, we had to rely on choreography and technique. So if we look at Kill Point, what we see is what we get. Raw action. There you have it. Another 10 good things, one bad film. For more information about The Movie Jerks, go to www.themoviejerks.ca.